Okay, so now the bug's filed, now we can actually look at actually fixing the bug. Um, so since we're already in this modem manager package, instead of being in the translations where we've just already had a look at, um, we're going to have a look at the overview of the actual whole package. And the reason why we're going to have a look at this is because we're going to have a look for any upstream connections. So, and there is for this one. But I just want to stress at the moment, we can just fix it in Ubuntu. So the the precise package in, Ubu in Ubuntu. But the problem is with that, it will only affect the people that use Ubuntu or derivatives of, of Ubuntu. So Linux, Mint, Ubuntu, um, Pingai, Bodhi, um, and probably a, hell, a lot more other distros that um, use Ubuntu as a base. But the problem is there that um, people like Debian or Arch or OpenSUSE or Gentoo or anyone that uses Modem Manager outside of Ubuntu or their derivatives, they won't get the fix. And even though it's only a small fix, um, when you do work in open source or especially when you're doing bug fixing, you want your changes or your things that will benefit the community to hit as most as many people as you as you possibly can. So the for the the sake of just checking one extra page or going upstream just to make sure that you can fix up there, well then it's going to um, affect or it's going to benefit a lot more users. So in this case we've got this modem manager, so we'll go up to the project. Um, and then when we get to there we need to just go to the code branch of the package. And now what we're looking for here is just the bizarre um, part that we need to copy down in our terminal. So it will be lp colon modem manager slash 0.5. So 0.5, we need that as well. It's just the series that is the focus. So um, we're going to just open up a terminal. Um, and if you're only doing this once, you can just do it how I'm doing it, or um, you can just do it in your home directory. But if you're going to be doing um, a lot of these things or you, you're looking to help out with fixing these kind of bugs, it wouldn't be a bad idea just to open a new directory and then just call it something like branches or something like or testing or launchpad or something like that. Um, and then we'll just go into it. Um, the reason why is because otherwise if you, if you start branching all these different projects or all these different um, bizarre branches, um, they'll all go in your home directory and after about 10 or 15 it might get a bit overwhelming having all these random folders in your home directory so it's always good just to create a subdirectory in your home directory and then just put everything um, in there. Okay so now we need to use the bizarre branch command and then after bizarre branch we go lp motor manager um, slash 0 0.5. Now if this is the first time you're doing um, branching with Launchpad or with um, on your new Ubuntu install, um, it'll come up the authenticity of Launchpad or whatever address it is. Cannot be, I don't know, authenticate or whatever it says. You just have to type yes and then that will just authenticate that, um, that you can connect, can connect to Launchpad to get the code. You only have to do that once. And also, if you if if you haven't really been using it much, or if it's, if you've just logged on, you're more than likely having going to have to put in your SSH key password. So it's the password that when you set up for Ubuntu development, it's the SSH key password, not your GPG key. Um, and it also has to be your SSH key has also got to be imported into Launchpad. Otherwise, you won't be able to do this section, or at least you won't be able to push code back up to Launchpad. You'll be able to get it and copy it to your machine, but you won't be able to contribute it back. So after that's done, it was pretty quick. Um, we can go into it, um, set it into the series, so 0 0.5. Um, and now we have the, the bizarre branch of where it's up to at the moment. It's got all these files of you know whatever's in Motor Manager. But the problem is here is that we've got this one word out of all this out of all these files that we need to figure out. Um, we've got to find out where it is. So the good thing about translation or just basic string strings that have been incorrectly typed or misspelled is that when we look at the original bug it says here um, that we put in it's, it's located here, 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 here it's in policy and then this file so what we need to do is we need to go into policy so cd into policy 
I'll just ls there as well. So here it is that org free desktop, etc. Um, that's the file that's in. So we just you can use any text um, editor for this. So you can use Nano, you can use Gedit, you can use Kate if you're on Kubuntu. Um, but I'm just going to use Vi. So we're just going to org free desktop, and now it should be string six because that's what this colon thing means here. Colon six. Um, and we just come down here, it shouldn't be too far into it. Yep, deleting over here. So we'll just go over to that um, character there and then just get rid of it. Save the file. Um, and now it's fixed um, on our machine. So what we need to do now is we need to, before we push it back up to Launchpad or do anything to do with Launchpad, um, we need to commit our changes, so we use the command bizarre commit and then we go dash m and this is just a message or commit message um, and what this means is that we can just put a little comment that says what our change is or what we've done. So in this case we've just um, fixed typo um, and then we'll just add the um, bug number, so we get lp colon hash and then our bug number is 913138, but um, they'll, always, they'll always change. So then after we've committed it, it says committed to, etc. modified, we only just changed that one file, and then we bumped the revision number up to 865. Um, in saying this, like before, it, it, it's amazing how open source works, or at least Ubuntu anyway, or Launchpad and stuff. We, I, filed this bug about half an hour ago and someone else already fixed it upstream so it's, it's pretty quick. Um, however what we need to do um, just to recreate the steps that we do on Launchpad um, is what we're going to do is we're going to go back into this code mode this motor manager part and we're going to go into this th series because the idea is is that since we've already um, fixed on our machine we can't just commit it back up to this main um, branch that everyone else uses because the idea is that if, if I wanted to put in something malicious or something that d didn't work I don't want to the people who maintain this branch they don't want anyone um, being able to push up to it at will so there's only a few people or there might be a, a handful of people or a team that can upload directly to this one so what we need to do is we need to make our own branch or register our own branch um, so they can look at our change and then they can merge it if they want to. Um, so what I'll do is just move this out for a moment. So we're in this part, we're in the Motor Manager 0.5 series and then what we need to do here is just go get involved and says submit code. So what this will bring up is our, um, it'll register a branch um, and now a good idea for something like this, we can just write something like fix for and then the bug number, so 913-138 and then we can just use this um, development. Even though it's a real basic bug, we can just leave it how it is. So now what this will do is we'll open up a new page and you know, nothing's committed yet, but what this gives us is it gives us our command or the path for us to copy this in or you can t you, you, it's a good idea to type it in so you get used to the keystrokes but we need to type in bzr push use existing lp etc etc so that's what we'll do now I'll just make it a little bit smaller so we'll fit on the screen clear that so go bzr push dash dash use existing lp colon jficket motor manager um, and then fix for 913 138 so same here it might ask you SSH key um, your password so but in my case I've already entered it so I won't need it for the moment Well, it's uploading. Um, no, it's already done now, anyway. So once that's done, 
if I read the, this page, it'll probably come up with reloading the page. It'll come up with um, a notice saying that it's updating this branch. Yep, down here, updating branch. Um, it'll only be a couple more moments. You might be able to update again. It will show us what's changed, or it'll have the it'll have the our name, and then also just the commit message. So ours was. Um, fixed typo with that uh, launchpad bug number. So, um, still updating. It can take anyway from a couple of moments to a couple of minutes. So, Just pause the video until it actually comes back. Okay, so that was only about a couple of moments longer, and then it's basically just got everyone else's commits, and then my new commit is 865, fixed typo, etc., etc. That's what it is. Um, and then you should be able to just link to the bug report. So just we'll go to link to bug report. It's probably come up with that something there. Bug number, yes, it's probably already linked, but. Anyway, um, it's good. It just means that on your bug report, it will come up with your um, proposed branch as well. So um, that's pretty much it for now. Um, but since it's already been fixed, it's pretty much this is all just a kind of just a tutorial just to show people how it works. Um, but you can apply this to bigger bugs. So if you want to add more information to some, I, an easy. Um, an easy example would be like if, if there's some documentation that you want to write, submit a bug report on Ubuntu docs and then say there should be more information about printers or something like that. And then you go and write, branch the package, go and find it, Ubuntu docs, write whatever you need to, fix the files, um, create a new, or push it back up, create a new branch, etc. and then um, link it to the bug, bug report or something like that. So it, it, it does have its, um, you can reproduce this in different um, environments. But anyway, thanks for watching.